Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we conquered a lot of bulwarks and took out the Ranging Bloister and made it to sub-level 9 of the whole of Heroes. And this episode, we're gonna go down deeper. Go way down deep into the whole of Heroes. Sub-level 10. And looks like we got another Nirvana floor. Nope, I was wrong. It's another boss level. This place has two more Emperor of All Blacks. Although, it's kind of risky because the first one is in front of a poison generator, unfortunately. Well, then take the risk. Try to destroy the poison generator without waking up the Emperor of All Blacks. Okay, now come back. Which was you guys getting into any danger? So by what? Oh, damn it! Threw a blue one over there. Damn it. Didn't want really, didn't really want that to happen. Okay. Now, there are two Ember Bow Lexes in here, but we're gonna try to fight one at a time. I'm not gonna try to take on both, because that's just too risky. So... President, take him and go hide in this area over here. And now, with my Boldman and my Red Pigman, let's wake up the first one. Now, hit his face. Dang it! Lost some of my Pikmin. Dang, I'm losing a lot of Pikmin in this dungeon. But what do you expect? It's a really hard dungeon. Hey, buddy! Get over here! Don't you ignore me! I know you're not stuck there. I lost a Boldman. Oh well, I'll risk it. Ugh. I only have one Boldman left. Hey, I'm doing worse on these guys than I did on the last ones. It is okay. Took out the first one, so... And he's the one that had the treasure. Okay. I'll then carry that back. Don't want to worry about carrying back that Emperor Bolt Wax. And we got a white gyro block. From the game Gyro Blocks. The treasure gyro block! And that's all the treasure, so I'm not gonna worry about the other Emperor Ball Marks. Yeah, the exit's over there, so I'm not gonna worry about the other one. I only had to take out one, so I'm gonna skip the other one and let it live. Because it's gonna stay underground until something comes, which will probably be never now. And in here we got. Even more trouble because it's Big Bertha! No, it's Empress Ball Blacks. Once again, you want to have the same strategy, but it's a little different this time. You want to have your present with more health, dealing with the babies as always. Ow! Okay, hurry. And there she is, Empress Bulbox. Supposedly, we should take out the babies. Now, 
before finding her, you want to take down the wall over there, because if you don't, she is going to cause you a lot of trouble. And believe me, she causes trouble in this battle. What you want to do is get near this wall, but first I'm going to have Palmar take out more babies. Like one punch and they're down. Next, throw all my pigment on top of her and summon them back. She has a new trick up her abdomen. If you destroy this wall first, then get in here when she does her attack because not only does she hit the wall, she causes boulders to fall! Now her weight is being used even more so. And be sure you take down this wall first, otherwise you're gonna get killed by those boulders. Also this battle is very time consuming. I did not want to do that. Okay. Let's hit her again! Yellow, get over here or she's gonna cause trouble for you. And she causes trouble, believe me. Almost taking quite a beating from the babies, but Walmart can take quite a hit, whereas the president can't really. My car horn is warning you that you should come back to me behind that wall, or else you're gonna get hit by boulders, and boulders are insta kill for Pikmin. Why do you keep asking me that? Just because I'm near the hole doesn't mean I want to do it. I only have one Bowman. I'm having our own baby attacker. Because she can attack her own babies anyway, just by rolling over them. Okay. Attack her again. Great, we gotta do another one of these things where she has a tiny chunk of health left, but wait. We have to wait until she does another attack. And dead for the third time! But this guy right here, the baby, is the real boss, in case you haven't noticed, because he can do quite damage. And I took out the boss in one hit! I am amazing! And once again, Ew. Because Emperor's Bulbax is disgusting. Let me Pigman drink up this nectar. Okay. We got another gyro block, and it's blue this time. It's the favorite gyro block. It's all the treasures, so we can move on. To sub level 12! Away! And we have another Nirvana floor, I think. Although, I think I remember this floor, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did a few minutes ago. Don't want my blues! I'm gonna take these ten guys. No, just near this and flip people. I'm not sure there's a doodle bar. Ooh, here it is in Glim Beetle! Take this guy out instead. And he had a treasure. Alright, free treasure. Okay, 
him over time. And he dropped a red potion. All right. And I got a free treasure. And a queen candy pop bud. That'll be worth it. And now we have 14 red potions. That'll really help. Next, take the have the whites take the that back. And we got ourselves a green gyro block. I think there are only two other colors. The Lost Gyro Block. I can see why they call it the Lost One, because if you did not take out that Iridescent Glint Beetle, you wouldn't be able to get it. And I might Bulbman go on this flower, but before I do, how many of each people do I have? Do need more reds. What the? Did you see that? I threw him and he died! Out of nowhere! Game! That was not the glitch I wanted to find, game. Just for that, I'm only getting blues. Because blues are actually more useful than reds. Okay. Now we cleared three more sub levels. We're gonna end this off here. Next time on Pikmin 2, we're, you know what we're gonna do. So see you there.